welcome back to On the Workbench. Today we're taking a look at this Relay Buddy Pro Test Kit from Electronic Specialties. So ES has a quite a number of nifty automotive electrical tools that uh, they sell that are quirky and fit very specific tasks very easily. And so this is one of them for helping you to test relays. So this is what you get uh, if you order this kit. And so you get the box here and we're going to open the box. So if you flip this over on the back side, the box describes this, uh, the Pro Kit as having five new test adapters, testing four and five pin relays, five different relay types, cycle relays 10 times, and then provides a red or a green light if it's good or bad. And it re, uh, requires tests, or, and it requires power from a 12 volt car, car battery. Comes with a one year warranty. And this kit is made in China. Taking it out of the box, you can see we've got the ES logo here, part number 191. It's very ambiguous on the outside. I wish this label said more about it being a Relay Buddy Pro Kit rather than just having the part number here. But this was in a whole stack of cases, uh, specialty tools in your shop or in your garage. I could see where this could easily be missed or overlooked. So we got the top foam here. At the top here, we've got a user guide. And we also have a warranty card. And this warranty card does require me to place a stamp on it, name and address, and there's a sticker I'm covering up here in my thumb that has a serial number for this kit already stamped onto the card. It would have been nice if that was post it's prepaid, but you can't ask too much sometimes. The user manual here, this is this eight and a half by 11 pieces of paper. I believe you can download this off the ES website. Actually, this one looks more, possibly more like A4 paper uh, from China, which would not be too surprising. And so this shows you how to use it. So let's look at the kit here. We've got the foam here to protect it. This is uh, designed for use with electrical supplies, so always got to be careful with that. And so the main part of this kit is going to be right here, the relay buddy itself. And so you can see where this just kind of fits in the palm of my hand very nicely, kind of about the size of a uh, like an Apple iPhone, give or take. And then, so we've got a couple screws on the we've got a couple screws on the back holding this together here. There is no removable battery on this, and so we've got a switch here at the bottom here for a four or a five pin relay. So if your pin has four or five pins, if your relay has four or five pins. Uh, switch that accordingly, and then hit the test button to activate it. The other side here has to be connected to uh, a 12 volt car battery. Now it'd be nice if this actually had an option, you could just plug this right into the wall or a power strip rather than having to plug it into a 12 volt battery. So I may do some testing later to see what the amp draw is on this to see if a DC adapter is, or an AC to DC adapter is possible. So when we're looking at this kit, there is another variant that's available that, that's out there that has only the relay buddy and none of the adapters. And that's about half the cost of this kit. You can get that for about 50 bucks. This kit here is right around 100 or a touch over and includes these adapters. So with these adapters, so adapters numbers one, two, and three are basically the same as the other existing configurations but allows for shielded relays to be able to connect to here that might have larger shrouds or other bits of housing that would prevent it from sitting flush on the surface there. Adapters six and seven provide for completely different types of relays for at least two other types of relay styles that are not otherwise provided on the base of the buddy. And those just plug into uh, the suitable port. You can see I got these matched here. The maroon one has an extra fifth pin on it. So you'd have to add or move your switch to the, the five pin configuration. But none of these actually have the exterior terminals on the side that some other relay testers have that you can clip uh, easily clip your multimeter onto the side to be able to check if there's power to it in the vehicle. So with this, you'd need to use your multimeter leads to be able to probe that into 
Uh, your fuse box or your relays are contained to be able to check if power is getting to the relay, but this will at least allow you to be able to verify that the relay itself is either good or bad and move appropriately in your diagnostic uh, pathway from there. All right, I'm under the hood of the car and I've got my positive wire connected to the positive terminal of my battery. And I got the black wire connected off to the side here to a grounding terminal over by the alternator that's provided on this vehicle. And so the relay in question is this one right here. And this is, as you can see at the bottom, is four pins. And so I'm gonna, I'm gonna, this will fit right over here. I'm gonna put this in. It's on the four pin. And I'm gonna press the test button to see what happens. And it looks like it passed. It opened and closed the relay 10 times. And so this relay in this case is not the problem, but I've at least got that ruled out and I've got this handy tool available. The next time I run into a question about a relay, at a moment's glance and very quickly, I can solve any relay questions without too many headaches. So I like that. And it's independent of the rest of the electrical system on the, on the car. I get the power here. And so that's what you get here. I like that. All right, so with the amp clamp set up here on the positive terminal connected to the battery, we're gonna see how many amps this draws. We're just gonna, with the set here to the in rush current, this should give me a max reading. I'm gonna sit here and press the test button and go. And you can see it barely registered any amps. So this has drawn hardly any amps at all. It's just quickly grabbing that 12 volts and closing the, the relay. So I'm not sure at this point that why I couldn't just uh, make an adapter for this to plug this into the wall rather than having to power it off a battery. But in any case, I think it works great. So I'm happy with this so far. It helps me track down my relay problems. And now I know where to look next and try to track down this issue. And next time, I'll spend far less time questioning relays. Just pull this out and just cut straight to the chase. So I hope you found this video useful and interesting and have a great day. I'll put a link to this below. If you're interested in finding this on Amazon, it is an affiliate link. It helps me, help, it helps me support the channel. And there's also another variant of this kit that just comes with this without the adapters. So if you're looking for the less expensive option, uh, check that out and have a great day. Bye.